Welcome to Tigo King's YouTube channel. If beginner pipe welders get a job, the first thing he or she does is weld flanges. And the most common welding defect is pipe burn through when welding the flange outside. Today, I will show you why you get burn through and how to fix it. First, let's take a look at the types of flanges. Slip on flange. Slip on flanges slide over the pipe and filler welded to both the inside and outside. Socket flange. The pipe is inserted into the flange's socket and then filler welded around the outside. You don't weld inside. Weld neck flange. It is the same as welding pipe butt joints. Full penetration is required. Lap joint flange. The stub end is welded to the pipe and the ring flange can be rotated for easy alignment. Burn through happens most often when welding slip on flanges and socket flanges, especially when welding thin scheduled tan pipes. Why does burn through happen? The biggest reason is that you give too much heat to the pipe side. As you can see, the flange is thick and the scheduled tan pipe is very thin. If the same amount of heat is applied to the both sides, more heat will be transferred to the pipe side. In addition, if the welding speed is slow, you give more and more heat to the pipe side. Eventually, you burn through the pipe. So, how can you prevent burn through? If you do MIG, flux core, or stick welding, the torch angle should be pointed toward the flange, not the pipe. When TIG welding, you should keep the filler wire in the weld pool and proceed at a fast welding speed. Until you become used to it, it is better to do multi-passes rather than to make a big size weld at one pass. Personally, I think this is the most effective way to prevent scheduled pipe from getting burned through. Everyone makes mistakes at first because he or she doesn't have much welding experiences and skills. Don't be afraid, just keep doing it. It is important to know how to repair. Knowing how to repair is a very important skill too. Now I will show you how to fix it. First, remove the sugar using a flapping wheel or a stone wheel. Second, fuse it without feeding wire. Third, build up with 116 wire. Fourth, remove the weld using a flapping wheel and blend it overall. Finally, I will tell you how to check your welding skills through slip-on flange welding. When you weld the outside slip-on flange or socket flange, a heat-affected zone will appear on the inside of the pipe. If there is a burn-through, you are still a beginner and need a lot of practice. If it is completely black and inside of pipe is swollen when you touch it, your welding skills are low. If it is brown and the pipe is slightly swollen, your skills are high. In other words, the brighter the color and the less deformation the pipe, the higher the skill of the welder. This is all about today's episode. I tried to introduce real weld and fabrication experiences to my subscribers. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Thank you.